Hello, so my name is Gavin Beverly and uh, I have mounted my paramotor in my car using a Maypole bike carrier. So currently here yeah, you can see it's mounted on my car. The yellow bit protruding from the carrier is where you'd spin the bicycle usually. However, in this scenario I've inverted these arms. So instead of these arms supporting the bicycle, on my paramotor, they actually hold the paramotor down. And there's a very good reason for that. I'll show you now. So, on the lower part of the Maypole carrier, are welded on these open square pieces of tubing, creating a trough. And the paramotor, the lower part of the frame, drops into this trough. It's really handy and easy to put into this trough and then the only other thing you have to do is use two of these straps and tie it down you can see underneath oh, let me get the strap out of the way there's a, an existing bar on the paramotor itself and this straps up nicely against this yellow bit here making it really firm and the great thing about it is should you twist the paramotor you can see there's no twisting in the frame itself because this is supporting the, the paramotor at a really high level. So if you go over any bumps, the only twisting that will occur is right down here on the tow bar through this plate and maybe through the actual uh, bike carrier itself. All the force is united in one long piece on the paramotor itself. So we have the same system on the other side, strap holding it down over here, and it's connected onto that frame piece over there. So we get the camera in the middle, and uh, you can see the trough and how I've welded it on. I'll try and go underneath. So I hope this is clear enough. Very simple to do and very, very effective and makes transporting a mini plane such a doddle and looks off to your frame.